Hey everyone, today we're stepping into the extraordinary Neverland Ranch, once the playground of the iconic King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Join me as we delve into the enchanting world of Neverland, where music, magic, and unforgettable moments all came together. My name is Jay, and this is Gen X TV. In the 1980s, the world witnessed the rise of a global icon who held a special place in the hearts of children everywhere. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, wasn't just a musical sensation. He was an icon for kids in the 80s. I, for one, was always planted in front of the TV for those MTV premiere videos and the music awards. His infectious melodies and mesmerizing dance moves had kids moonwalking in their living rooms. Michael's music transcended generations, and his timeless hits like Thriller, Billie Jean, and Beat It became anthems that united children and teenagers across the globe. Michael's iconic image, complete with the fedora, white glove, and that unforgettable moonwalk ignited the imaginations of millions. His videos, like the groundbreaking thriller, were like mini-movies that captivated young audiences and left them in awe. Michael Jackson was more than a musician. He was a symbol of joy and inspiration for children in the 80s. In the 1980s, the world witnessed the rise of a global icon who held a special place in the hearts of children everywhere. Michael Jackson, the king of pop, wasn't just a musical sensation. He was definitely an icon for kids in the 80s. Neverland Ranch was not just a property. It was a dream realized. It featured a private amusement park that could rival the best boasting rides like a jaw-dropping Ferris wheel and a charming carousel. And let's not forget that whimsical decor, transforming the entire place into a fairy tale come to life. The Neverland Amusement Park was like a page out of a storybook. It was fueled by Michael's love for exhilarating entertainment. Kids and adults alike couldn't get enough of the adrenaline-pumping rides. The Neverland Zoo was home to some of the most exotic animals you could imagine. Elephants, giraffes, and even mischievous chimps. It was like stepping into a wildlife safari. And the decor made it feel like an otherworldly oasis. The ranch had its own theater, but this wasn't your ordinary cinema. It was a realm of luxury and enchantment where Michael treated his guests to private screenings of his all-time favorite films. Think lavish decor and a magical atmosphere. Neverland's recording studio was a true gem, a place where Michael's greatest hits were born. The decor was like something out of a dream with a cutting edge setup that gave him the freedom to turn his musical visions into chart topping reality. But Neverland wasn't just about fun and games. It was also a place of incredible generosity. Michael welcomed underprivileged and terminally ill kids, giving them a firsthand taste of Neverland's magic. One of the famous kids who came to visit was none other than Macaulay Culkin, and they formed a bond that went beyond the glitz and glamour. <laughs> 